Do women feel the pain of rejection the way a man does? Overweight women do. What happens with overweight women, they'll only tell you this when they lose the weight and they'll see a huge difference in how men treat them. They go from being either invisible or treated like one of the boys to now being really, really stared out and adored. And that jump makes them realize how much of a difference, a reaction you get from men based on your body. So uh, and it can really, really mess with them. Yeah, because they almost have the self-esteem of somebody who is really overweight but they're getting the attention of somebody who's really beautiful and they don't know how to select because their self-esteem is still low but their appearance is still attractive so I think women have that experience of rejection women are only truly rejected when they're around more attractive women if you're just by yourself as an unattractive woman you walk down the street nothing happens no worries you go home mind your business but when you walk down the street with a beautiful woman and you see how she's treated by other men or you go to a club with a beautiful woman or you go for dinner with a beautiful woman and men are just flocking to her that's when they experience the rejection the most, which is one of the reasons why attractive women tend to flock together. Because when you're with uh, women that are considerably less attractive, they feel uncomfortable with that disparity in treatment. But, and men are so, they're so forgetful. They'll see a beautiful girl, they'll ignore all their friends and just home in on one. They might throw the odd compliment here and there, but really they mean it to one. So they can be quite harsh with that as well. So that's when they feel it the most. For men, I, I can tell you, when you get rejected by, by an attractive woman, it's like you're being judged. Like you are not meant to reproduce on this planet. Is that how you feel? That's how you feel. Like It's not like this girl's just not right for you. Yeah. It's like no girl is right for you. There is a huge difference culturally in how men handle rejection. Men from Hispanic culture or more African Caribbean culture, when they get rejected, they handle it perfectly and that's why they have so much success with women you go walk past and up damn you look great sorry i have a husband he's a lucky guy have a great day and they move on to the next simple and as a result they have there's always women in their world what happens to other men from different kind of cultural backgrounds they place their social validity on her response. If she says no to him, oh my gosh, she's the only girl in the world. I'm never going to get a girl again. Oh my God, I'm never doing this again. Just emulate that behavior that you see in Hispanic men. What I found fascinating when I was in South America, I'd have a man literally proposing to me, making me feel like I'm the only woman in the world. Two minutes later, I'd turn over and he's talking to another girl. And I'd be like, I didn't even finish rejecting you. How did you move on so fast? They move on so quickly because they realize there's more humans in the world. And because they have that mentality, they never ever allow a woman to make them feel like, you know, he's nothing. And they never get too attached too quick. Here's what happens when we reject a man. We're seeing whether our rejection confirms what he thinks about himself or it disproves what he it's thinks like, about himself. It's like himself. he knows he's worthy. So what will happen in some men, you reject them and they'll be like, well, are you sure you're missing out? Are you sure you want to say no to <laughs> it's, this? It's a great and response. And it's that kind of response that we're feeling like he knows something I don't. So when he gives that attitude, like, are you sure you don't want this because you're in for a treat if you do, we get the impression that this person's successful at women, no, not in life, at women. But when he's like, oh God, oh, 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 he gets all nervous and now he's upset for a couple of days and he can't stop beating himself up and replaying, we're just, we're confirming the belief that he has about himself that he's not good enough. So we're looking to see what your self-belief is with the rejection. And again, this is all unconscious. Women don't know that, that they're that doing this. That gets into this. testing from women yeah, too, right? Yeah, te you're testing to see your self-belief. When you act like my rejection is my loss, there must be something about you that's interesting. And that's what we attach to. Tell me, tell me about women uh, testing men. Well, unfortunately, it's what we kind of are designed to do. Here's the thing, biologically, we having a child with somebody, just remember there's no anesthetic in evolutionary times. There's no hospitals, there's nothing like that. Childbirth could literally, very literally mean death. So if you're gonna reproduce with a man, which is one of the reasons I think like the advent of contraceptives have really changed women's attitude. But before that, it would be, if I reproduce with you, it's life or death. This is a really, really important decision. So we would have to test him to see his tolerance levels and his boundaries and his ability to soothe emotions. We're testing everything to see if he can lead the situation. Now, the problem is to pass the test, you have to, have more stable emotions than her. And what I mean by that is, if I say to you, fuck you, this, and then you start saying, fuck you, that, and it becomes a whole big mess, we don't like that. But at the same time, if you just sit back and take it, we don't like that either. We need somebody who won't be as emotional as us, but won't allow us to get excessively emotional because he has boundaries. And it's finding that balance, which is so hard for a man. I completely, I don't know how I would handle it if I was a man, but it's a case of you want to show her that you're not as erratic as her, but at the same time, you don't tolerate this level of erraticism, even though she's pushing you and pushing you.